few huh. of the Nubian kings. Quite a late a start today. Sorry about those that. Kings came from Babylon. And his tomb is where? Uh, excuse me. Close this. Is Discord closed? Presently, no. It's not closed at the moment. Sophia! Turner! Alright. Hey, Matthias, good to see you. As always. It's a late start today, my apologies for that. Oh. I have had a pretty good day. I have a day off. Went to the gym with one of my best friends. And, uh. So I'm very tired today. But for good reason. I earned it. interesting okay can go live vertically on mobile I'm not interested in doing that right now what's up Kenny good to see ya <laughs> the cat in the box <laughs> cute super cute oh dear okay give me just a second here Now, uh, it is going to be darker, and that is because my lamp has broken. So I'm just relying on the illumination of my desktop to uh, brighten the frame onto Ethereum. The level, not the cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be fine. I've shaved since the last time I went live. Still kept the center there, but got rid of the sides. I felt... It was time for some spring cleaning. Might as well start with my face. Now let's see here. There's that. Can I lock onto it? I can. Can I kill it? I don't know. Weird things are happening there. Huh. Like, I can shoot at that, but... What a dangerous looking place. Today you heard a song you really liked. Tell me about it. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. Let's try that again. So this level... This is giving me zen vibes. So mean by Poppy. Hmm. Definitely listen. 
I'll try to remember that. So mean by Poppy. see something here. So I can swim in this. Can I surface? Ooh, not really. Oh, I can get zapped to hell though. That sucks. Which is a mix of pop, metal, and electronic. That sounds like the kind of thing I enjoy. I would probably like her. I feel like I've heard the name before, but I've never, like... Like, I, I don't know anything of hers off the top of my head. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh, I can walk around down here. That's interesting. I didn't expect that to be the case. Well, that's kind of neat. I am poisoned, though. So let me do something about that. <sighs> Might as well use that. Fuck. Well, let's see what's down here. What is this? There's a gem, I think. That looked like a gem. Hmm. Jeez. Okay. Nope. Not fucking with those things. So to get up, I have to climb this side. I have no idea what the hell that thing is. Oh dear. Hello. That's interesting. I can fall in here. Oh, that's, that's trippy. Okay. I get what's happening here. We're getting some non-Euclidean uh, geometry. I love that kind of shit. Okay. So jumping in one side of this allows me to pass through the center. All right. Neat. isn't so absolute. Here's a slice of ordinary reality. And can I go in there? Nope. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to bust through that somehow. That's not how, clearly. Huh. I just gotta think in portals, that's what I gotta do. Also, I'm starting late today for the same reason I uh, started a little bit late uh, 
last week. Been playing Helldivers. Because it's really fucking good. Yeah, okay. So, um, my friend Population sent me a video today that I think you would enjoy. It is... Someone has remade uh, Nine Inch Nails' The Downward Spiral using the Doom sound font. That didn't work. I'm doing something wrong. It was pretty fun. Okay, I need to I need to plan my uh, approach. I remember being way too way too tired. Uh, when I played this last week to really understand what I was looking at here. Someone remade Slipknot's debut album using Mario 64 sound. That's hilarious. Oh, ow. Yeah, so I'll keep, I'll keep going to the right. What's this? Have I been here? I don't think I have. No, that doesn't look familiar. Looks dangerous, though. Jeez. Don't fall. Huh. Take it. You're a tool from beyond. I don't mean that. I just couldn't resist. Looks like there's a way to fall in this room. Let me see. Where is that stone? Right here? Tool from beyond. I don't trust it. <laughs> I'm gonna say. This seems super dangerous. I'll bet you that that's the thing that lets me pass through uh, the barriers, though. Actually, I'll bet that drops me out up top. God, it does. Jeez. What a brain fuck. Okay. Well, time to go up then. Oh, what? I'm sorry. What? Is this actually liquid? This might actually be liquid. I could drown here. That ain't good. Time to pass through the center. Yeah, let's see. Well now, from this side, the barrier between worlds isn't so absolute. Here's a slice of ordinary reality. Come on. Of course that didn't work. What? I knew it. Well now, this gizmo seems to open up contact with ordinary reality. Might be already. 
I fucking knew it. Oh, good. Okay, so... So, being in here... I get it. Being in here will... Restore my air, it looks like. I mean, really, I just feel like I'm using Ergon's part, you know, <laughs> going up to specific walls and making them not be in my way. All right. Pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Funny place. This is some Tron esque shit. Kill it. Hmm. Oh, how bizarre. Okay. These shafts I can swim in are... Irregularly shaped. Okay, well that's not moving. Can I go up? Oh my gosh, what? Did I just really insult this god to its face? Sure. Okay, um, you need to heal, Tim. This is not going well. Oh, fuck. I think I just died. I did just die. Fuck. standing on ceremony, it seems. At least it doesn't repeat the cutscene. Hmm. This is pretty wild. Huh. 
chop with those noodles. Damn right. I've been starving today. It's definitely because of working out earlier. And even though my job kind of keeps me fit, I'm still not used to, like, structured exercise. Did I just run out of fucking ammo for my... I did. That sucks. The hell's Marduk? There he is. Ow! Damn. <laughs> that really fucking hurt. Yeah, that's great. You're fucking dying, Indiana. Something tells me that I can't just shoot at it until it dies. I'm on. Where the hell did Marta even go? Damn. Okay. This leads nowhere. Oh, great. That's wonderful. What? Oh, my God. Hey, Spyro, good to see you. I am getting my ass kicked. Marduk again. Uh. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of how you lose fucking everything. Like, I died, I came back, I have lost all of those fucking, um... All of those medicines that I had. They're just gone. Locked again. Damn. Okay.
Sheesh. Oh, it's so aggravating. Let's do this. I don't even know what the hell this is. Let me through. Whoa, it opened. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? A silver mirror. Sure, I'm confused. I don't know what this fucking means. Oh, hello. What's this? Silver mirror, silver bars. Okay. I'm gonna get my pistol out. Ooh. That's open. No. Okay. Fuck that thing. No. You fucker. What's this? Now what? It's another gemstone. My precious gems and jewels. Hmm. Oh, fuck you, Marduk. Damn. He's gonna fucking kill me. Save. So this is how you do that. Shoot me, you moron. Damn! I didn't mean it. I can't lock onto the motherfucker. Oh, that's so fucking irritating. Like, even now that I think I've got it figured out, he still fucking killed me. Please tell me I have the shield. I do, in fact, have the shield. Come on. Throw it at me, fool. Fuck you, man. Cheating ass bullshit. Hit me with another. I dare you. Come on. Uh, 
Okay. No. Jeez. Okay. Marduk has been defeated. What's up? How you doing, White Attack Knot? I just, uh... Medallion? Or, or is it a key? I just gave Marduk something to reflect on. Just got back from Florida. Nice. Very nice. Oh... We're in the puns, damn right. Mordic Medallion, let's see. I knew it. Okay. Mordic used this thing to charge up his thunderbolts. Maybe I should try the same thing. What? Indiana Jones, are you high? Went to the Harry Potter experience at Universal. How was that? Hmm. It was sick. Nice. Then we went to a drag show. Nice. I've always wanted to go to a drag show. Those look incredibly fun. Oh, yep. Okay. What are you doing, Indiana? Sure, I'm gonna keep wandering around. I'm not sure what the hell I'm achieving here. I'll probably have to come back. Let's check out what's up. Any monsters to kill? No. Breaks the brain first time through. You know, um... Because I know I was basically... And I, again, no hints. Please, not, not even a single one. But I will say, like... That moment when I realized that where you jump... Like, in the first room where you jump into the streams... Causes you to go through the center... Towards different exits. That was cool as shit. I, I really like this level a lot so far. It's uh, trippy. Uh, the visuals are very Tron. Kinda. <laughs> Up or down. Oh, I can go down. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very neat. This door is locked. It's got a good vibe. Okay. Okay, I've been here. This is where I got the, the mirror to banish Marduk. Think I'll be able to finish tonight? I don't know. Truth be told, I don't know. I'm certainly gonna try.
Oh, there's like an ammo counter on my whips now. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I can now charge my whip in this room. Available at a starship near you, yeah. Hey, Chris, good to see you. Seems like I had a tough time. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I got I got to the beginning of this level, and then I just man, I was so exhausted the last time I streamed. I was just really, really out of it. Hmm. So I'm coming at this a bit more rested. Okay. Still charged up. Not totally sure what the fuck that charge up means. But we'll, we'll find out. Let's hit it again. <laughs> nope, that was not the right thing. There's gotta be a way out of this fucking room. See where this takes me. Now this just takes me down below. Oh, fuck. Been 
there. Don't remember how to beat this level at I explode. I I wouldn't want you to tell me anyway. Hmm. It is always funny to kind of get to a point in um like advanced play where you just forget how the thing. Oh. Fuck, I just splashed ramen juice right in my fucking eye. Okay. But it's like, it's always funny when you reach a point in advanced play where you don't remember how it was intended. Um, I hit that point. Uh, I, I bounced back from it, but uh, there was a period of time where I was really into speedrunning Duke Nukem 3D. And, uh, And I got to a point, I got to a point in um, uh, LA Meltdown where uh, the level that begins, uh, it's, it's the level after Death Row. It's a level after Death Row, so it begins in the submarine. And uh, there is an exploit that lets you get past this, uh, it lets you get past this area without the red key, and I had actually forgotten how I, w I, I had done the speedrun strat so many times that I had forgotten how to play the level normally, I had forgotten where you even get the red key card, and like what enemies spawn if you go to find it and stuff. Uh, I feel like I was up above that. You just finished Tomb Raider 1 Remastered on PC? Nice! How do you feel about it? Is it worth it? First playthrough, definitely enjoyed it, but still very janky. I'm kind of surprised at the jankiness. I wouldn't have expected that. Maybe, hold on. They had modern controls option, but didn't work great. Tank controls were better. Interesting. Well, that ought to do it. Everything this level feels so alien. Let's see. Oh, hold on. How would I think if there was a... 
if there was ever a remake of this game, oh, I would play it. I would play it. I, I think this is a pretty good game. It's, it's way better than I expected it to be. Uh, it's, I'm having a much better time with it than, um, than I did as a kid trying to play the, the PC version. <laughs> You'd love to play this with a smoothed out control scheme? Yeah. Yeah. Except for maybe Fate of Atlantis someday. I could see them doing a remaster of Fate of Atlantis. I could see them giving it literally the exact same treatment that they gave um, Monkey Island 1 and 2. Playing Far Cry uh, 3 again. Keep going back to it. Far Cry 3 is awesome. I loved Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 and Blood Dragon are the only Far Cry games I've ever actually finished. No, I'm sorry, that's not true. I've also finished Instincts and Predator on the uh, on the OG Xbox. I forgot about. That. Playing Blood Dragon at the moment, never played it. I love Blood Dragon. Blood Dragon's fun. Uh, I'm gonna go behind the switch in case there's something back there I've missed. There is not. Fucking damn it. Well, what if I strike the damn switch? Still nothing. I just need to go beat that door some more. Let's see. Six is 50 50. You, you did it, but won't play it again, huh? I found stuff. Uh. Now, if I go in here, I should recharge that meter, yeah. Huh. Console games are harder for you to focus on. Interesting. Locked. 
Now see, that's very interesting that they have that plate right there. Oh, hello! Wait a second. That's... Okay, I got it. Ugh. Okay. I knew it had to be something with that whip. And the fucking door. Okay. Noodle slurp time. I've earned it. Still need to play Star Wars Battlefront Collection, the one that got released the other week. You know, I've heard kind of mixed things about it. And the install size is, is ridiculous. Um, hey, Parker, good to see ya. Somebody in my Discord, I think Gus, I think it was Gus posted it. Yeah! The install size for Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection is 62.87 gigabytes. That's ridiculous. So it devours your hard drive space for, like, no real substantive reason. I guess, like, higher resolution textures, sound samples, but 62 fucking gigabytes? Get out of here. Get out of here! Oh. You've been following that fiasco. Yeah. It's disappointing because, like, Battlefront 1 and 2 were great games. Um, I played them on PS2. That was, that was how I primarily played them. Uh. Ooh. Hello. It's a D20. Sophia? Doesn't bother you with the install size you've got the space. Well, okay. That's fair. Oh. Asper backed with Disney money. I mean, Asper's made some good stuff in the past. If, if you're not worried about the space, I guess it's not an issue. I don't think I wanted to do that. Oh, I really am starting to get the impression I didn't want to do that. Huh. Okay, so I have to go... Well, not this way. Oh, fuck. All right. Asper did the Tomb Raider reboot? Okay. I I wouldn't know. I have not looked into it. I'm I'm not exactly likely to get the Tomb Raider um, remaster. And that's mostly because I want to play the game, like, I want my first playthrough of these games to be the game in its original form. So I fully intend, I, I fully intend to play Tomb Raider on the Sega Dreamcast, which I have, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, two and three I'll do on PC. Uh, I scooped the original trilogy up on GOG one time for like a dollar. <laughs> this is a great deal. 
Will I stream that? Probably. I'm gonna have to be really particular about, um, about puzzle spoilers, though. Like, the story spoilers I don't care about, like, because I, um, I played Tomb Raider Anniversary, and from what I understand, the story is mostly the same. Um... So, it's totally fine discussions about the story, but I, I don't want people to solve puzzles for me. Ah, let me finish this real quick. It looks like it is. All right. Interesting. He didn't like that. Oh, for come on. I like that Indy walks to keep pace with it. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. Hold on. No! I wanted to see if I still had that um, mirror, but okay, the mirror's not going to work. Oh, God. Uh... Not safe at all. What is this shit? No, you fucker. All right. Huh. Hey, Slipgate, good to see ya. This is a little worrisome. Where 
is this going to take me? Well, I probably need to go this way. All right. Let's use my little tool from beyond. What do you know? I got lucky. Look what I found. One of King Saul's jewels. Okay. Red gem. We didn't have started Valley's new update's gonna come out in a bit. Nice. Excuse me. Lately what I've been playing on PC a lot is Helldivers 2. Which I'm sure anybody who watched that short I uploaded has figured that out. Uh, although, um, uh, I was having near constant crashes for a few days. And only today did I realize that the problem uh, was that my um, NVIDIA drivers were out of date. And even though I've got it set to automatically stay up to date, uh, what time? It's 11.39. 11.39 p.m. But yeah, even though I have, even though I have it set to always keep my NVIDIA drivers up to date, um, what I didn't realize was that I was signed out of my NVIDIA account. So I had to manually sign in in order to download and install the update. Uh, so, so somehow, somehow I had gotten signed out. And then since then, it's been a little bit more stable. It still crashes every now and again because it's like it's fucking hell divers, but uh, it's not like every time I try to play. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Hmm. Almost everyone you know on Steam has Helldivers 2. It's real good. <laughs> Except you. If your PC can handle it, I would encourage... I would encourage it. It's a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of Left 4 Dead. It reminds me a lot of Left 4 Dead, but, uh, but the movement, the character movement of the game is honestly, it reminds me of, um, Ground Zeroes. It reminds me of Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes. Just kind of a weird comparison, but, like, it, it fits. Hell, Helldiver, Helldivers is, like, it's, like, Left 4 Dead with Metal Gear Solid V's movement. So in this world, what's outside the machine? I have no idea. Maybe our universe is what's outside the machine. What do you know? It worked. All right. Hey. A valuable artifact. Hmm. Marduk is a mad scientist from another dimension. Could be. I'm actually not fully convinced that Marduk is evil.
Like, Marduk is clearly dangerous. I think as a being, Marduk is uh, so wildly different from humanity. Is it really clear what his whole objective was here? No, not to me. I, 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 I Don't tell me. He I mean, spent a lot of money building this damn thing. I'm wondering if I'm wondering if Marduk even did this itself. Motherfucker. That's a pain in the ass. Blue gem. Mm, that didn't quite work. Yeah, fuck. I've got to find... I need to keep exploring and find where to put this fucking gem. These fucking gems, I mean. I've just always wondered why the hell he built this machine. Okay. Like, why does he care? I think if Marduk is curious about life in our dimension, it makes sense. Like you said, you know, possibly a scientist. It's locked. The only objective at this point is to escape. Yeah, Marduk has been trapped for most of recorded human history. Fuck. <laughs> Clearly he had funding. Maybe Marduk invested in Ethereum. Early crypto adopter. There we go. Hello. In the lore of the game of Babylonians built the machine with Marduk's guidance, and then it was destroyed, and they left with the parts. I remember them saying something like that earlier, or at least that's something uh, that's something that was theorized earlier. Conveniently in the places where the uh, Ethereum has, has portals. I mean, that, that makes sense. Um... Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Tool from beyond. A green gem. I'll be damned. It opened. Hi, damned. I'm Tim. What have we here? We have a green gem. It's a key. What? What do you mean you think it's a key? Red gem, blue gem, green gem. Hmm. From the priest's perspective, they either wanted someone to find it and reassemble it or never find it. Uh. Did I spend hours running around in a minecart to put those in? I think so. Yeah. I only put two in. I only put two in the 
The game let me finish the level with only two. Love the concept of the Tower of Babel being a literal doorway to another world. It is pretty cool. It's locked. Damn it. sure what to do, but at the very least, I know I have all the gems. Whatever I need the gems for, I do have them at this point, so when I eventually blunder into the solution... You fuckstick. that shit. Three healing herbs. Move. Damn you. The game breaking glitch there. That's hilarious. What happens? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. Instead of you can, using Ergon's part to break the ice in the ice monster fight, you can shoot it with the revolver until it dies? That's really funny, because I shot at it a lot and gave up. That's really funny. I definitely tried to shoot at it until it dies, but I ended up, I ended up using Ergon's part. 40? Oh my god. It drops the great monastic seal and then the game crashes because you can't have two in the inventory. Magnificent. That's perfect. Took like an hour, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Wait a fucking minute, hold on. Fuck that nonsense. Although, 
I will do this because because having more zap whip is always good. Well, that ought to do it. Uh, yeah. Let me go back. You're a little used to play this with all the cheats on. There we go. Monkey Island one? I don't know anything about it. does not look like an advisable tactic. No, it most certainly is not. Fucking shit. Damn it. Didn't want to ask if I found the Monkey Island event. Yeah, I, I, I'll put it this way: if I don't know about it, don't say it. Please tell me I still have all my jewels. Okay, good. I'm trying to think of a good place to... to go with this shit. That... Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Uh. You've got to be shitting me. Restore last save. <sighs> this is not looking good. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Uh This has me nervous. That has me pretty fucking nervous. This is a glitch you've never seen before. I'm finding new and interesting ways to fuck this up. Oh no. Oh no. Wonder if we can exploit it? I have no idea. I just hope that it doesn't persist. Moment of truth here. Yeah, no kidding. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to restart the level. Which would be fine. Okay, oh, jeez. Oh, come on. See, fucking, oh, damn it. Well, I mean, worst case scenario is, and it put you behind a checkpoint. I, I'm not sure. It could be the that that could be what happened. try to jump to the middle ledge and then save before I land. But I do think that that swimming in air thing is probably what fucked me up. Because I think I was swimming out of that shaft. You're gonna look up and see if the chuck will, let you, will work there. I got bad news for you. This uh, this is the N64 version. There ain't no chalk. Okay. Now let's see. Will it load me here? Okay. Um, fuck. Oh, oh that's rough. That's rough. Damn.
replaces a machine. Yes. Okay, so I can do this. This I can do. Since I know what I'm looking for. Since I know what I'm looking for, I can... Get a little further. There we go. Come on. Oh, up, 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 up. There it is. Not bad. It's kind of fast, actually. A tool from beyond. Good. And yeah, sure, I'll drop through. Why not? It just sends me back here anyway. Okay. Oh, no, that was interesting. Speedrun mode activated. Oh, I didn't... I didn't go here. seems to open up contact with ordinary reality. And I feel better already. King Solomon's Mines Incorporated. <laughs> Looks like Horner believed his own fairy tale. He's so nonchalant. All right. Medicine. What's this? Mine is what it is. Huh. Oh. That's all there was to grab over here. Oh well, it is worth a look. That's so cool. Yes, it did. Ah. Aha. Medicinal herbs. The save feature has completely boned me on healing items. That sucks. <sighs> Looks like one of the faces in Cruelty Squad. Press it. It won't let me push the button. That's a shame. Does it keep your stats and items? Yeah, it appears to do that. That's why I have no medicines left. Left. 
it still loads you at checkpoints, which is dumb. Yes. Yeah, that is a little bullshit. Amazing. There. Now that's interesting. I am not doing that yet. <laughs> go back this way and see if there is one more way I haven't been. I just want to be sure. But this is starting to look familiar. Yeah, okay. Okay, so jump to the right. Have I played Emperor's Tomb or Staff of Kings? I started Emperor's Tomb at one point, um, and I stopped because I just had other shit going on. That's a game that I definitely will pick back up at some point. I have it on Xbox. Uh, I have not played Staff of Kings. charge in this room. Hello, does it not recharge in this room? It does if I hold it out. Okay. I'm a little bit fucking confused. This is trippy. This is very trippy. If you have Wii Staff of Kings, it's an all-time bad motion controls game. Yeah, that's basically what I've heard. Um, although, uh, I will say that having a... because it Because uh, Fate of Atlantis is included with that. And having a console version of Fate of Atlantis is kind of cool sounding. Exactly, yeah. Point and click makes total sense. Okay, well, this is reassuring. go. Sheesh. A 
Let's go up. I cannot go that way. You're hitting the, uh, hitting the Saxia. Good night, Matthias. Thanks for hanging out. I'm swimming in midair. Incredible. Marduk, you're one of those angry gods, I'll bet. Ugly too. Welcome to the Ethereum Mortal. Indiana Jones, rude to gods. Oh shit. Damn it. All right, there we go. That was not where I wanted to go. I'm looking for one of those floaty doors. Stop it. way yes it's this way okay down I go oh you fuck stick it's true about Marduk not being explicitly evil Indy's just picking a fight man So my bullets can pass through dimensions without magic. There. All right. Here we go. Shows up in this guy's lab, calls him ugly, and proceeds to kill him exactly. Like, what the fuck? Sees a guest and says, Welcome. No. Why are these doors always locked? Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Hashtag justice for Marduk. Get that mirror. Do not fucking die. I can't keep the damn lock on. There we go. Okay. Did not like that. Oh, kept the Z target that time. This is about to be the easiest. Oh, fuck. I spoke too soon. Come on. Come on, Marty. Oh, shit. 
Damn it. you do there we go his health is randomized huh that's fun okay let's take that a medallion or, or is it a key Thunderbolts. Maybe I should try the same thing. Yeah. Well, that ought to do it. Cool. Let's save. What's the worst that could happen? some damn thing. Zap! Okay, well, that's, that's what I like to see. It is amazing how quickly this game flies by when you actually know what you're doing. <laughs> I can see why a speedrun community exists in this game. It's 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 fun. Oh. Interesting. I didn't think that would be open. Oh, I see. Uh. In about a minute, I'm going to be right back to where I was. Uh. If I get the chance, I should watch some of the speedruns of this on N64. I mean, yeah, once, I, once I'm done with this, I'll give that a look. There we go. Hmm. Whip it! Whip it good. I'm not sure, but this may be the jankiest N64 game I've ever played. trying to think of what uh, what I'm going to do next after this, because I, I know I said I was going to finish um, Killzone Mercenary on uh, PS Vita, and I, I still am, but uh, but I've been prioritizing this. Oh, I am definitely going to get this before doing any more of those switches. 
Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Tool from beyond. Get the fucking Whoa, shit. Open. What's this? One of King Saul's jewels. All right. It's just fun watching Indy uh, run in place in midair. Uh... You would say this game was never truly meant for the hardware and was already very janky. Yeah, it's impressive that this game runs at all. I, I think that even with its problems... You motherfucker. I think even with its problems, this is still really impressive. Um, when you think of N64, you think of simple games that are well-designed. Uh, for the most part, that's that's true, like Mario 64. Um, although, I would also say that there's a couple games that are actually really, really complex. Um, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is a game that is uh, really uh, just very very complicated and also runs beautifully um uh so majora's mask i think is is an exception that's that's a game that's not even remotely simple it is very well designed but it's not even remotely simple and it it makes excellent use of the hardware um but by and large especially when you come to third party games uh, yeah, sim simplicity is, uh, is something that helps with this system. Um. Here we go! <laughs> that fade effect. Hmm. It's mad. Okay, time to run. Running seems like a good strategy here. Fuck. Still managed to get hit. You motherless dog. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Well... There. Look what I found. Hmm. A valuable artifact. Missing something. I'm missing a jewel. Missing the green jewel. I'll find it. Hey! 
Okay! No! Never mind, that's not what I want. Not even close. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> that one's on me. I just couldn't remember the way I was supposed to go. But it's this way. Go this way. God, all the fucking Z fighting. Hey, Neil. What's up? Ooh. It's Medea. This probably won't surprise you, but I've never seen a, uh... I've never watched a Tyler Perry movie in its entirety. In fact, I think the only movie I've ever watched that had Tyler Perry in it was the 2009 Star Trek. Do I know any games with Krakens or Leviathan? Uh, for some reason, I'm actually drawing a fucking blank. My brain is in Ethereum right now. Okay. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Wait, that has Krakens or Leviathan in it? Okay. Seriously. Does nothing. You saved. You saved. Don't save presently. You have made no progress. You have done nothing to warrant saving, Tim. So don't. Wait a minute. Hold on. Those doors have holes in them. Maybe I am supposed to use the jewels there. Let's see. Oh, I hate that fucking thing. God, I hate that thing so much. Thank you. Down. Go down. Ha! 
Okay. Whoa, it opened. Oh, finally progress. What's happening? Is my N64 dying? Okay. Oh. Hey! Oh, a healing item! Oh my... Holy shit. Is it my birthday? Oh, there's so much good shit here. I think I'll save. You motherfucker. The cutscene is showing me things that are happening, and I have no clue what they mean, what they signify. It just uh, things are occurring on my what screen. <laughs> Some medicine. Also, I'm surprised this wall isn't like Fulbright glowing. That may be. So, Chris and Tech, in this room, are the walls glowing on the PC version? I'm just curious about that. They are. So, the walls being this dark is just an N64 thing. There's no dynamic... L oh, that was delightful. There's no dynamic lighting, though. You think it's on purpose. Not sure if it's a glitch or a choice. My guess is that uh, the walls being um, dark on the N64 is a result of... Uh, because they had to... Uh, I, I think it's a result of porting the game into the Rogue Squadron engine and using the N64's built-in, uh, you know, hardware renderer. Or hard built-in hardware acceleration, I mean. Um, I I'm going to guess it's a result of that. Because I think a lot of the light sources and light, light behaviors uh, probably changed when they did that. And I think that this was probably a level that they just hadn't, fixed all of that. This looks like something... Like, in this room, it definitely looks like something that, uh... You know, they didn't get around to fixing. It's a lot more stable graphically, in your opinion, altogether. Yeah, I would 
absolutely believe that. I would absolutely believe that. This game, uh, this version, it kind of feels like it's stuck together with scotch tape. Not even duct tape, just scotch tape. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, you better fucking not do that swim glitch, you fucker. Okay, Indiana. Okay. Neat. What have we here? We have more healing items, thank God. I like how Indy is basically just appearing in random places all over the world. Part of me wonders if there are you know, people located outside this bubble of space-time who are able to see Indy just appear and disappear. That would be really, uh, funny. Oh, come on. Okay, as good a place to save as any. Son of a bitch. What? Oh, 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 it is really time to, time to heal. Man, that's all I got? Okay. Come on.
What the fuck? you go. What? What is it? Have I got two heads or something? No. Two faces, maybe. Pardon me? You were on Turner's side, right up until the end there. I never lied. I'm a professional. I was doing my job. I guess that's human enough. Tell this tale. Damn it. That character being Sophia Hapgood was totally unnecessary. What, her from um, Fate of Atlantis? Eh. I think it's nice to have a bit of continuity there. Where, uh... Oh my god. Okay. Get. Oh my god. Get up. Um. Oh Jesus. I'm gonna save. This is pretty awesome. Uh, uh. Well, well. Reds again. 
course. Did you find God, Dr. Jones? I hope not. Whoever we ran into wasn't very forgiving. That's a relief. As you know, socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural power. And you expect to win the Cold War? I expect a long struggle. Listen, uh, Gennady, you don't happen to have any socialist vodka on hand. I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Initial thoughts? That was fun. Co-designed and developed by LucasArts and Factor 5. Oh, uh, initial thoughts are that that was pretty good. Um, written and designed by Hal Barwood, LucasArts, uh, N64 camera control and production. Um, it, it's a very, it's a very impressive game. Um, this is making me want to, it, it's making me want to play the PC version, especially now that like, now that I have a playthrough under my belt, so I feel like I won't get horribly stuck. Uh, so I want to, I want to see what this game is like on PC. Uh, I know I gave up on it years ago when I was a kid. Um, uh, no, I thought that was a really good adventure game. And uh, it, it's a shame there weren't more games like this on the N64. Uh, I thought the I thought the the voiceover performances were all pretty good. Um, the story didn't make a ton of sense. Uh, it wasn't complete nonsense, but, like, um, I'm sorry, but, like, I, I killed so many Soviets. I killed so fucking many Soviets in this game. And then, and then everybody just kind of, like, shrugs and makes friends. Vladikov just didn't care. Didn't care whatsoever. Which kind of makes sense because at the very beginning he seemed to be operating on a different level than uh, uh, than the forces he was working with but like uh, you know Vladika was ready to kill Indiana Jones like my main thought here is that Indiana Jones is picking fights the entire game that's that's my main thought like, I show up at the Russian dig site, and I just start smoking people. Immediately. Um, and all because... <laughs> like... You know, I, I, I liked... Uh, I actually liked that um, Sophia Hapgood was in this game. Uh, once she showed up, Indy's motivations made a little bit more sense because they were more than just like solve this mystery before the Soviets do, but like why why is it a life or death struggle? And you know Indiana Jones from really early on didn't seem he didn't strike me as being convinced of the power of what they were looking for. And then by the end of the game, it becomes apparent. But, uh, you know. I think it's a great game. I think it's a great game. Um, try out real hard. Hmm. Very special thanks to George Lucas. Uh, yeah, great game. You wish they hadn't just wanted to do a Tomb Raider game, which is what it was really. So would I like to know? Would I like to know what the speed run time for the 64 version of the last level is? Yes, actually, I would love to know that. Also, man, I love that I can just select levels that I liked.
A minute 42? Jeez. Oh, that's crazy. That's absolutely buck wild. Impressive, but... But absolutely wild. Yeah, like... Let's let's fire up Babylon, and and this is basically what I'm talking about with with Indy just picking fights. I need to play the PC version just to play the extra level at the end. Yeah. else why do the russians want to dig it up the game definitely gets jankier the further along into it you go it's pretty clear that the earlier levels got all of the polish i mean just look at how well this this is performing right now It rebuilds the machine, gets Sophia possessed. Yeah. Uh, kills Marduk, though. Although, you know, it's not entirely clear that that's actually a good thing. Like, I understand Indiana Jones protecting himself, but, like, it's kind of a shame that this thousands-year-old being, the likes of which is not understood by humankind, uh, had to be killed. <laughs> Maybe they figured people would run and therefore only uh, play the first few levels. I mean, that could very well be a, a part of the rationale. Or maybe they just figured that people would rent this game over and over and over again until they finally finished it. hereby reminds comrade Dr. Volodnikov that socialist theory disavows the existence of supernatural powers. Those doctrinaire apparatchiki. What is it? They think I'm out here searching for God? Possibly. I'm just decoding the message, sir. I'm searching for Marduk, a creature the Babylonians worship as a god, but he doesn't live in heaven, just on another plane. What kind of plane, sir? Soviet or American? Both airplane, you idiot. It's another dimension of reality. The Ethereum. Be careful. He's not able to say, you sorry, that was twisted. The arise, they often <laughs> no, it's fine. About methods and results. In four ministers, we're making excellent progress, all according to plan. We know the true story is waiting in the room of the tablets. That's where we'll find out what happened to the tower and to the machine. Marduk inspired. We are close. It's a matter of days. And damn the ideology! Yeah, I mean... The, the character motivations are all kind of messy. Like, the, the person in this story who makes the most sense to me is Volodnikov, actually. And... And I... I don't think that's a good reflection of the writing. But... I, I think the performances are so good that you kind of forget about it. Like, everybody is really well acted here. Quite an operation the Russians have going here. Um, I'm jealous. Sight is crawling with guards. I better steer clear. From, from what I've played of Fate of Atlantis, I think Fate of Atlantis is probably better written as a story. You know. 
Also, Fate of Atlantis is just funny as shit. <laughs> like, it's, it's just a, it's a really hilarious game. Uh, a more advanced game would have stealth and etc. Multiple game mechanics. Uh, does this game not have stealth? No, I no. This game has stealth. You get uh, you get Tacklet's part, and uh, you can you can do some stealthing and some sneaky killing. Uh, the um, the ship. Uh, the Soviet ship is a, a really fun uh, stealth action mission. It's a little bit on the trial and error side, but uh, but I like that mission a lot. But also, that mission is why it is like the most baffling to me that Indiana Jones apparently becomes buddies with Volodnikov by the end. Like, dude, I killed hundreds, hundreds of his people. <laughs> like, the... The water under the bridge there is full of corpses. How are they okay? Hmm. So you're running here for Peru on the N64. It's not like the doc gave a damn about the soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't really care. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's what Volodnikov and Indiana Jones uh, were able to bond over. Is like, hey, you know what we have in common? A complete disregard for human life. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. So good. Oh, shit. Uh, in order to unlock Return to Peru, you need to obtain 1,500 IQ points. It means you have to grab at least 150 of the 160 treasures. Jesus. How many IQ points do I have? Ah, 1,290. So I'm not far off. I'm not far off, and... It looks like I'm only missing one from this level. They allow you to miss 10 because anyone playing without an expansion pack won't be able to access King Saul's Mines. That's true. It's a cool bonus level, actually. I would believe it, yeah. What's this? It's a medicine. Probably one of the better ones in the game. Well, that's pretty exciting. Let me grab some goodies if I can. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. And it's a long one. Oh, motherfucker! Okay. Oh, man. Shit. I can't go in there. Can't go in there either. That's a disappointment. Oh well. Oh my god, I have all my weapons. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, so I can... <laughs> so I can just... Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, it didn't let me pull the trigger. That was bullshit. 
that was bullshit. All right. That's something the PC version doesn't have as New Game Plus. Does the PC version have a level select? Oi. Like... Are you able to just... No? Oh, man. Well, then I'm really... Honestly, I'm really glad I played the N64 version then. A lot is different. Yeah. I want to check it out, although I feel like... I feel like in terms of just, like, wanting to go back and replay parts of the game, I like that I can just pick a level here. It's like a really old-fashioned PC format. Okay. I'm still gonna play it. You can quick save and lay it. Okay, well, that, that makes sense. Like Jedi Knight. Hey. A medical hmm. kit. Go that way. Ow. That was frightening. Oh, there's an anti venom uh -huh. Good. Some medicine. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, I thought this was a great game. I uh, I think I think I would recommend it to anybody. It, it, like if you have like ha having only played the N sixty four version to completion now, I would say like if you have an N sixty four and you encounter this game in the wild, get it. It's absolutely worth playing. But you do basically need a walkthrough for a couple points. Um, this was the walkthrough I was using was uh th this is what i was referring to when i would get stuck uh i didn't have to refer to it as many times as i thought but yeah hold on let me let me paste this in the chat this is a very isn't this one of the rarest games on the console how did i get my copy um I got this copy uh, from a video game store it, that used to exist in uh, College Park, Maryland, called Pandora's Cube. And tragically, they closed down um, less than a year ago because some developers came in and bought the shopping center that that store was in. Uh, but I, I'd been a loyal customer at Pandora's Cube for many, many years. Um, and every now and again, things come in that uh, that are of interest, and they'll hold on to them. Um, yeah, this was the walkthrough I was using. Uh, but no, when I when I saw this game on N64, I was surprised because I didn't know that this game even existed on N64 until I saw a cart physically, and I just bought it. Um, at the time I bought it, at the time I bought it uh, from them, because uh, I want to say I bought this cart maybe eight or nine years ago. And it cost me, I think it cost me a clean 60. Supposedly they go for big money on, oh, the, the retro game market had exploded in the last few years. Like, um, when I bought this game, 60 was expensive for an N64 game. I'm sure this game goes for much more than 60 now. Um, N64 Infernal Machine. Oh, 
you know what? No. That's actually not bad. There, there's some fluctuation I'm seeing in prices, but 60 actually looks like uh, looks like a pretty good uh, deal for this. What I am seeing here is that the um, what I am seeing here is that the um, North American version is more expensive than the PAL version. And that's interesting. The PAL version seems to be kind of cheap. The North American version is kind of pricey. I wonder why the PAL version is so cheap. There's a lot of modern copies in Bootleg. Yeah, that's true. It's on Amazon right now for one thirty. Fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Steam is selling for two dollars. So I really appreciate the, um, you know, what what we're seeing with the the lighter here. Uh, this game does have some really nice uh, dynamic lighting going on. It's good stuff. Steam is selling for two dollars. Yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna try to install my my CD-ROM copy, um, and if I have trouble installing it on on my main PC, I do have um, I do have an old uh, ASUS ePC from 2007. But what I love about that machine is it has Windows XP pre-installed on it. So a lot of games... Uh, I've been able to install a lot of games from, like, the mid-90s uh, to the mid-2000s. I've been able to install those on that PC and have no issues with it. Like, uh, I installed Jedi Knight off the disc onto that PC. had no, no issues. Check this listing. Sealed new in box 1400. Oh, man. I believe that, though. I believe that, though. Um, super weird of them to only sell this game through Blockbuster. Like, weird that you could only rent it from Blockbuster. Even weirder that in order to buy a copy, you had to go to Blockbuster's website and special order it. Had to hack it to get yours to run. Jeez. XP gave this game fits. Never could get it to run right. Okay. Well, I certainly believe that, like... Um... Because I didn't know that Infernal Machine had a community of fans. Until you guys showed up in the chat. Like, until Chris... and it, Until you and... And uh, Tech showed up at, uh, on this stream. Uh, I didn't think that this was a game that people actually uh, connected over, but uh, but it is, which is pretty delightful to see. I was expecting. I was actually expecting to have a bad time with this game, <laughs> like when I when I started streaming it, and that was based entirely on how bad of an experience I had trying to play this game as a kid with my friend Web of Hope. Um, oh, that's a pretty skybox. Yeah, I was I was fully expecting when I started streaming this what like a month or two ago, I was fully expecting to have a bad time with it, and then like really early on I I just started to feel totally different about this game and this shotgun fucks I love it more the series than the game but there aren't many games in the indie verse yeah and I feel like Infernal Machine even though like 
there are points in the game where it's very dense and clunky. I feel like Infernal Machine was was actually a very accessible game. Um, like, it, it's weird because I never knew a lot of people who liked this game, but I did know a lot of people who had this game. Not the N64 version, but, you know, I, I knew a lot of people who had the PC version of this game. Um... Is shotgunning a scorpion excessive? Probably. It's a medicine. <laughs> Satisfying though. Now what? First aid. But yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to the new Indiana Jones game that's gonna come out. Uh, I I love machine games. Uh, As a big scorpion, fuck scorpions, man. You shot a camel spider overseas. Don't feel bad at all. That's fair. Oh. Hey. I can... I can activate the lighter in first person. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Man. <gasps> I can fire my gun in first person. Holy shit. Just grabbed an M9 off a bunk and popped it. Not playing that game. I think by not playing that game, this is a guess, but I think by not playing that game, he was referring to not playing that letting the camel spider live game. Holy crap, I could have been shooting in first person this whole time. Granted, I couldn't have been aiming up or down, but... I... I cannot believe... I mean, I... I have to hold... I have to do a weird claw grip in order to do it, but... Hold on. Yeah. I can't tell if I'm delighted or annoyed that I can do that, because I would have loved to have known I could do that much sooner. I could have made several things much easier. Oh well. Should mod your game with real gun sounds? That would be fun. Chris, it has been a pleasure getting to know you. I'm I'm glad that uh, you were here for for the the end of the game. That was awesome, uh, and I look forward to seeing you around. Uh, probably going to be doing Killzone Mercenary on PS Vita tomorrow. Is probably what I'm going to be doing. I just don't know when. Sometime later in the evening, I would think. I'm probably going to hit the gym with my friend again uh, in the mid-afternoon. So I'll be tired again. Their trucks go right through the checkpoint. That's my passport. Might be around, depending on how that goes. All right. I well, hope it goes well.
What have we here? Some medicine. It's a checkup. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, come on. Hold on a second. Where the fuck is the damn truck? There we go. Pardon the jittery joystick. Oh, that sucked. Damn it. Is to dive roll? You know, I haven't successfully dive-rolled this entire game. I don't know how to do that. I have, I have not done that even once. On PC, you just press Z. Got zucked? Oh no! Fuck. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. What was that? I saw a reel today that had me fucking dying. But I can't remember. Uh. I can't remember what the person in the reel was. Uh, it's. Martin Cabello. Okay, okay. So I saw I saw a reel today, and it said. Uh, it said something like, uh, when my 17 day voice chat ban is up and, uh, and it's, it's Martin Cabello, uh, taking a long drink of water. And then he just looks straight at the camera and says, today's topic, slavery. <laughs> it's just like, it fucking murdered me. It was so good. Uploaded some vids of the drag show and somehow that's against community standards. It's guys in makeup and dresses. It's not even crazy. What the fuck? I, I don't understand. I don't understand Facebook sometimes. Oh. 
Oh. Oh no. No dog content, not even swearing. Uh, it makes no sense. It could be that it's like it's a guy in a dress lip syncing to a pop song. You're just floored. It, it did did Facebook think it was hateful in some way? It's a, 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 like it did it erroneously think that that it was a hateful video. No. Like it clearly isn't because like you're appreciating this. You're not you're not denigrating this. Oh shit. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Literally just that vid and said, had a good time that dragged me to hell. Uh, I would like to take a moment to appreciate how fucking perfect a name that is. That's awesome. It's also entirely possible that that name is what Facebook's system misconstrued. Because it sounded like, that, that sounds like an automated thing screwed you over. It was at the Spookeasy Lounge. Hmm. It's a vampire bar in Tampa. Hmm. All blood-themed drinks. That's awesome. That's the wrong button. That's the right button. Your wife and you got dressed up and went to a drag show at a vampire bar in Tampa. That that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Swing. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a lamp. <laughs> Want to see the video? Yeah, dude. Send it to me. Once I do this stuff. Yeah. Comrade Dr. Valadnikov, we have Narushiki in our sight. Capture him if possible. 
Otherwise, trail ya the dog. Gotcha! That was very messy. Just sent it over. Yeah, I'll check that out. What's this? Some medicine. Damn. Oh, that fucked me up. Nothing over here. Oh, yes. Oh, God, this. I only remember getting disoriented and hating this. <laughs> Shit. It's just a big square. Yeah. I know. That's the way out. Is it? That is not the way out. Oh, come on down. What's this? Did I did I go here? Ah, uh, damn it. shit. I feel like I've lost brain cells here, like... Oh my god.
is a map too. Yeah. I've done this level a few times. Every time I have trouble in here with the underwater. Is there a switch I need to flip? I just keep swimming past where I need to go. God damn it. Is it this? I don't think it's this, because this, for fuck's sake, this is the way I came in. That's the way I came in, so that's, is that the way I came in? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. This game uh, makes me swing from feeling like I'm a genius to feeling like it's amazing that I ever tie my shoes in the morning. Okay, it's not this. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Don't judge a fish by how it climbs a tree. That said, get it together. Like... I I am losing my mind here. That is not it. It's down? Okay. So I have to go down to find it. This is promising, just because it's very long. 
Yeah, okay. Thank you. I was about to lose my mind. Okay, now I'm about to run into Turner again. Why are these doors always locked? It won't budge. There we go. Hey, Astonavis, Trasvija, Tavarish. Open the door. I'm here to deliver supplies. You know, dig stuff. <laughs> Whatever you need, I've got it. Hey, Spion. Me ne prekrezna strijat, Spionov. What? I like the way his voice glitches right there. Hello, Dr. Jones. Welcome to Babel. I'm Simon Turner. Remember? CIA? Sophia works for me. Oh, you stole the cogwheel. And our yeah, Turner don't is even cold. know it's gone. Blodnikov's a hopeless academic, not a field man, and frankly, I need clues he doesn't have. That's why you got tapped. You're a famous archaeologist. I'm just a spy. This should get you through the door. By the way, Rumor has it they found a gold statuette of the winged god Marduk. Be awful nice to have that. CIA runs a museum. The company runs a hive of soulless bureaucrats, but I am a passionate collector. I'll bet you are. <laughs> you know, I was wondering when that moment would pay off, because, like, they set up Indy's suspicion of Turner right away. Locked. It takes a long time for that suspicion to pay off. Then he gets in for any, any port in a storm, honestly, like... Indy was about to get killed. So, at the, at the moment, Turner was the only if let's vote on it. That is an amazing line. That might be my favorite line in the game. It's it's awesome. Well, here we go. A little sort of reminds me of the water temple. Hey, Rabbit, good to see you. I can kind of see that. In, in the earlier areas, at least. Fortunately, it's, uh... Oh, wait! That's cool! That's the fucking shrapnel I blew up earlier. It swirls around in the water until it loads out. That's... Or until it despawns. Hello! Found the treasure! Wait a minute, that just made a sound. Hold on. Okay, I have 1,300 IQ points. How many IQ points did you say I had to get? For the secret level. Fifteen hundred. Okay, you're you're heading to bed. I should I should not bother you. One day until your birthday? That's fantastic. Rabbit, are you going to do birthday machine? I got all the treasures here now. Yeah. What a great game. Oh, shit. Hmm. 
Got stuff to do in the morning. All right. Good night, Tech. Thanks for hanging out. Whoops. There's no room to maneuver. There we are. And elevator cutscene that I was not Mr. expecting Otis the first didn't time. Actually, invent the elevator after all. Turner was right about Volodnikov. A good digger would have found this long ago. Ah, this game is so good. I don't think that's the right answer. What do you know? Sophia's little gift has a purpose. Probably do it today, the next day he streams. Nice. Well, I will try to make it to that. I would love to see that. Okay, where am I? Nebuchadnezzar's library, maybe. Shh, don't disturb the patrons. Well, that's easy. They've been dead for thousands of years. Hmm. Next week, you're going to be part of a program to help you find a job. I wish you the best of luck with that. I'm glad you're being proactive about it. I think you'll do fine. unfortunate I think I'm gonna call it quits for the night I could feel my energy fading see you in the future uh, and I'll try to I'm, I'm gonna try to uh, catch the film cal stream uh, tomorrow night um, uh, uh, technically tonight uh, just very very late you know what I mean I'll see you around rabbit and thank you everybody else who is here tech uh, Chris Matthias uh, slipgate Kenny was here, I think. Did I see Kenny? I thought I did. And Spyro. And uh, we had Chris Davenzo and uh, Chris Massey both here at the same time. Uh, and Parker and anybody I may have missed. But it was good spending time with you. I'm, I am beat. Oh my goodness. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. Uh, finding a job it isn't easy to find. Yeah. hate it when people say it's easy to find. It's, it's different. Like, some areas jobs are easy to find, and then some areas jobs are fucking nightmares. 
Um, and then it also depends on what kind of job you're looking for. It's just, it's a bunch of chaos. So, all right, Rabbit. Wishing you the best of luck. Good night. Take care of yourself, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.